www.pastoralassistance.com and pastoralmarketing.com. And I'm so excited uh, to be with you. Uh, we have a very, very special guest. So many of you uh, sent comments and had questions about this new thing called Google Hangouts. I'm very excited because we have an authority on Google Hangouts, Mr. John Paduchek. He's, uh, uh, we met on uh, really online through uh, Marketers Link. Some of you uh, were on before when we did a, an interview with some of the fast uh, list builders from, from Marketers Link. Um, so we met there. But without any further ado, um, I do want to bring John on so he can talk to us about this uh, new phenomenon called uh, <laughs> Google Hangouts. How are you, John? Why don't you greet our list? Hey, I'm good. All right, I'm, I'm taking good. over. I blue boxed me in, Jay. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> so what, I, what I'm going to do here, um, the, one of the cool things with Google Hangouts, and I'll, I'll kind of hit this is it it's makes for a real nice round table discussion so that whenever you're having like a, a chat with multiple people it goes around to whoever's speaking so um, I'm gonna just set that so that it will go to whoever is uh, is speaking here as we move along but um, hey thanks for inviting me it's it's great to be here it's great to talk about um, an exciting topic um, like you said Google Hangouts is kind of the um, the biggest thing and uh, I don't know of a time ever that and you probably agree with us where we've ever been kind of like on the beginning of the beginning edge of something big. Can you remember a, a time where in internet marketing or online marketing it's kind of hard to get on the edge of something. Would you agree it with that? It really is. <laughs> I, I, absolutely. You know, we there's a lot to said to be said about timing. You know, um and I think this is what you're talking about. I would have loved to have been on the on the beginning edges of all kinds of things, the dot coms, you know, be the first. Uh, I mean, I remember people talking to me about, you know, this new thing called the internet and getting domain names. I was like, domain names. But, you know, I would love to have uh, bought like car dot com, you know, or business dot com back then. So, yeah, there's a lot to be those, said for time. Even some of those three letter dot coms, I mean, those are, those are huge now to be able to get a, a short dot com name. Um, yeah. But, but, that's that's kind of the way I felt about Google Hangouts. You know, when it first popped out, um, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. You know, lots of people were using it and just starting to get into um, Google's communities, which are which are also cool and they interplay a lot with Hangouts. But um, you know, Mike Filsame and uh, Zane Miller did did a big course on um, on Hangouts, and of course, as those two were learning. I, I started to get involved, so I, I really did kind of catch into Hangouts early on, and um, I come from a background of having uh, two offline businesses. I've been involved in investments and insurance, um, and you know, my I help my wife with her business. She has a, a physical therapy and massage therapy business. So I kind of started from the offline world and worked my way into the online world, like um, which is kind of unusual. A lot of people are going from the online world to the offline world now I'm kinda of coming the other way around but um, it, it Hangouts is neat because it, it goes into so many different areas you know I was saying it can go into the pastoral community I, I was mentioning to you as we started that uh, you know we we have services with our sister churches in other countries um, we had one just recently I think with Hungary and um, a sister church that's in the Ukraine um, and it works great with offline businesses, you know, people like doctors and, um, you know, others that would like to interact with their patients or, or even their clients, you know, just to be able to chat with them on a regular basis. And it works great with us because it gives you the chance to um, interview great experts on PLR or um, I, I think you've probably seen me in some of the hangouts that I've done maybe even um, with my friend Dennis Becker. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. I got him, yeah. I got him started. And, um, you know, with PLR and with, um, oh gosh, what was the other one? Copywriting we did one on. I mean, it's just great to be able to have kind of a roundtable discussion about a, you know, a great subject. So it, it really is a, a neat area to get um, get involved with. I think um, Google Plus, too, is at a nice area where it's really kind of starting to take off. You know, everybody's more familiar with Facebook and with, um, you know, some of the other uh, social media sites, LinkedIn. But not so much with uh, with Google Plus and Google's been putting a lot of time into Hangouts and um, you know the communities and and Google Plus and that interface. I think you can see it now really start to become 
you know, more popular, and at least with marketers, maybe even as popular as Facebook in some ways. Oh, I, I believe that, John. Let, let me ask you, um, what allowed you uh, to really jump on, uh, you know, early onto this? Did you do you always keep your eye uh, out for things like this? Were you particularly sort of YouTube or Google savvy? Um, you know, are you a technical type guy? I, ca I originally came from an engineering background. I mean, I have, ah. my, uh, I have my degree in, in imaging, believe it or not, from uh, RIT in upstate New York. And um, so, yeah, I am kind of a technology guy, but I'm the technology guy that eh, isn't so keen on some technology. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started out as an engineer in life and went into marketing and sales. So, um, you know, in some ways, you know, I like simplicity. I like working with things that are easy. And I liked... I like video and doing video, but you know it's kind of hard to come up with an easy way to do video sometimes. And I found Hangouts as an easy way to jump into it, um, really get started without a lot of hassles. Uh, I mean, everything here is pretty much set up. I've even gone to the point where you know a lot of guys will do screen capture video and um, you know product videos. I've done a lot in here. I've done a lot of reviews, you know, using the um, the screen share interface here, uh, etc. And um, Hangouts have a lot of SEO power, which where else can you get that, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. I mean, and, I was, and for some of us, um, I don't, don't mean to cut you off, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. Just for um, some of our audience or subscribers who may not be as familiar with the term. Uh, would you mind just giving a little bit of explanation as to uh, what SEO means? Sure, sure. Um, you know, it's our search engine optimization, and it's uh, being able to get ranked and seen on Google and Bing and, you know, the other search engines. Um, obviously, I mentioned those because they're the mo two most important, but maybe even more important is YouTube, which is related to Google, but now is the number two search engine just behind, you know, Big Brother. So um, uh, in YouTube... Um, Google, of course, gives a lot of high ra high rankings to their own properties, and Hangouts fits into that. You know, Google Google Plus communities get high rankings, YouTube videos get high rankings, and of course, Hangouts on air, like we're doing right now. If I had made this public, you know, we might have even had, uh, and who knows, we might have some people actually watching us right now. Very mm, possible. Wonderful. 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 So you see this as an excellent opportunity to get in sort of at the ground floor. Also, accessibility probably is a big deal um, for most people if they have, you know, a computer uh, and they're online. Uh, it certainly, I would imagine, would be affordable. Uh, for, for somebody like me, it's a way of kind of getting in, getting my toe in, and uh, practicing and, and sort of ex experimenting. Um, but uh, to that point, uh, what would a newbie do? What, what would a... Like if you're going to advise me, and, and you do do that, you have a wonderful course uh, on Hangouts, um, what would be uh, your advice for someone who maybe isn't as comfortable with the technology or, and I'm noticing speaking with you, you're very comfortable in, in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of us who may not be as comfortable in front of the camera, uh, how would you advise us? You know, that's that's a good thing. Let, let me kind of start where I, where I started sure. out. Um, when I started out in Hangouts, I saw it as a great opportunity. Um, you know, not a lot of people involved in it. We probably even now have like a 12 to 13 month window of opportunity before uh, Hangouts becomes really widespread and everybody is involved in it. So um, there's still really, really a great kind of ground floor opportunity to get started. I had um, a lot of friends who were getting started out in it and it made it an easy point of entry. Um, I think when you start in Hangouts, it's great to kind of have a buddy to work okay. with. Either, either have a friend that works with you, or you find somebody like me that knows a little bit about Hangouts, and you say, hey, would you mind getting on a couple with me? Um, and that's how I got started. In fact, just as I was learning, um, Dennis Becker, who's a, who's a close friend of mine, and he's um, people would know him from the Warrior Forum or wow. uh, you know some of, the, some of the big groups there. He, he presents frequently, and they invite him to speak many, many times. But um, Dennis and I have a good relationship. I've been part of his membership for five or six years. And, um, you know, so we were talking one day. I said, you know, Dennis, I love what you've done with your uh, membership site. He, he, he really has an awesome membership site. It's just unbelievable. Probably, I call it my online family. 
kind of like marketing <laughs> links, a little bit of our online family, but maybe this even more so. Um, so we were talking one day, and I said, you know, Dennis, I'd really like to interview you. I'm doing some work in Google Hangouts. Could we do an interview together? And, of course, the first thing he said to me is, well, I don't have a webcam. Um, you know, I've got just what I need to do my work in, um, you know, like everybody else, he was using GoToWebinar at the time. And oh, so sure. he said, you know, I'm, I'm doing mostly SlideShare video and not so much video of me. Um, so that went off for a couple weeks, and then all of a sudden Jason Fladelian comes out with Zane Miller with the, the Tube Method course. Um, a couple other things pop out. He gets invited to, to sit in on the video and give a bonus. And he says, hey, remember we were talking about doing that interview? Um, I'm really interested now. So <laughs> next next thing I know, I'm the face on Dennis's panel. I'm doing his, his green room work, and, and you know I'm invited to help him out. And um, so it's done a lot of things. It's, it's actually made our relationship better. I've become kind of his coach, and he's become kind of my coach in some other ways that uh, you know I needed some help. So, so it's really worked out to be a really nice trade. But, but that's yeah, kind of no yeah, that's kind of no. normal though. That uh, Zane Miller says the same thing that um, I've been invited to kind of tour along as people get started and learn Hangouts. So that's, well, that's, that's really the big place people get started. And I was going to say, you feel free to share my Quick Start Guide with your reader, you know, with your readers and listeners, because um, that's really a good way to get started. I talk a lot about the equipment that's necessary. You know the best kind of webcam to get, the best kind of headset or earphones, etc. Because we spend a lot of time figuring that stuff out, so right, that'll help right. a lot. And and that's beautiful. They, um, this gives us an opportunity to speak directly with with an authority. Um, but the next best thing, obviously, is someone who's sort of worked through the details of an idea um, or a process, and rather than all of us having to go through the steep learning curve with all the mistakes. You know, you have, um, you know, white papers available, PDFs available. So that's always a wonderful thing. Um, do you want to talk a, a little bit about um, your, um, you know, like product development or, or where you're at? I know that I've been hearing a buzz about uh, sure, sure. some things that are that are on the horizon for you. Yeah, I believe, I'd be glad to talk about that. When, sure. I, when I started looking at Hangouts, the one thing that I saw is, you know, lots of people doing interviews and doing Hangouts, but they weren't really talking about the real power and the interaction with social media. And um, so that's kind of been more my concentration. You're, you're going to see a lot of products come out about Google Hangouts and how to use them and probably even stuff about the equipment and things that I put in the Quick Start Guide. But um, what I don't think you're going to see as quickly is people talking about the power of Google+. Plus and how to create your own community and then use that as a centralized base to work out of to um, you know then move stuff to your your blog move stuff to Facebook um, Tumblr Skype groups be able to interact with your subscribers on multiple multiple fronts because um, one of the thing I think one of the things in list building that I think is scaring people right now um, I don't know if you've looked at your Gmail lately or if you've noticed the tabs have you seen the tab? I haven't. Okay. No, I, I, yeah. Google just uh, in the last oh, week or so has been talking about tabs, and, and one of my accounts just got implemented automatically. Um, but it's so what happens is all of your emails get sorted out personal, um, social media, and then uh, tab, there's a tab for promo promotional. So anything uh, that comes through that's can spam uh, act or has that disclaimer goes immediately in the promotional tab. So it actually gives people who are who are on lists a chance to kind of ignore us completely. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, we get segregated, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So as time goes on, more and more important to be one um, you know, physically tied in with your audience and really chatting with them on a regular basis. Uh, giving them lots and lots of value so they really know your face and know who you are. But two, that tab thing looms big because you're going to want to communicate with folks on multiple fronts. And and hence the reason I say this social media thing and hangouts and you know incorporating the big picture and being able to kind of communicate with people in multiple directions on multiple fronts is going to be a big deal. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Um, you, you had said earlier, if you want to elaborate just a little bit more on that, sure. that you probably have uh, 
about a year, maybe a little more before Hangouts becomes a really broad thing. Um, what are some of the advantages, uh, or could be some of the advantages, of getting in early, and, and what does that mean for people? What does that sort of timeline mean, in, in your experience, wh whether it's the online or offline? Yeah, I think I think there's some really powerful implications um, with Hangouts for affiliate marketing. Um, there's some powerful applications uh, where people are doing webinars now. I think Hangouts may widely replace GoToWebinar and some of the things that we see on those platforms because there's really no limit to the number of people that you can have on a Hangout. You can have nine people on the panel. If you have a business membership to, um, excuse me, to Google+, Plus, uh, you can have an unlimited number of people on the panel where you and I are sitting right now. Um, if you, uh, you can have an unlimited number of people watching your video on YouTube or Facebook uh, or, wherever, or wherever you embed it. So again, it kind of gives people the opportunity to, let's say I'm having a hangout today and I post, you know, this embed code of us on my blog, on Facebook, um, on Tumblr, on anywhere I can embed a video. People can watch at those mm. points everywhere at one time. Yeah. So, so there's pretty pretty widespread implications for, like I said, those areas. There's widespread implications for um, offline marketing, as I was mentioning. I think there's widespread implications for the ministry. Um, there's huge implications for any time people are connecting face to face, and would you know like that ability to um, you know possibly record that interaction, yeah. like like mentoring meetings, masterminds, coaching calls. Can be huge, yeah, so it sounds like it, yeah. you know, just getting just getting in early, and then to top it off, like I said, the SEO power of it. Um, I've had Hangouts that I put on air that um, five minutes after they were set up on YouTube, they were ranked in Google or less. Oh, that's amazing! Sec I mean, maybe even seconds. Wow. In fact, we get we get off of this call, and um, I called it uh, list building and internet marketing. With Jay Foster and John Paduchak, if you look up uh, list building, internet marketing, Jay Foster, it's going to pop up. Wow. So you'll, pro you'll probably see the uh, the video pop up quite quickly. Now, now has it been uh, your experience um, with uh, the, the SEO uh, and and being strategic with that that um, videos uh, in and of themselves, uh, along with you know, a text in an email or on a page will get a higher ranking in general, or is that sort of a, a miss? No, I think uh, it will get a. I think it will definitely get a higher rating in in uh, general because it's social, and okay. I think I think the other side of it too is it's a um, it's a better interaction with, you know, the people we serve, whether they're the folks on our list or or wherever it might be, um, you know, they get to see us live and in person and get to know us. And that's something that's not as easy easy to do through text, as you know. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, video has huge implications, and um, th there's always a little fear factor. You know, it's kind of like public speaking. P mm -hmm. People will often say that uh, you know they'd rather they 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 fear public speaking more than death. <laughs> 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 and, 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 I, and I think there's almost that same kind of fear of video, um, which is why I said you know it's a good thing to kind of have buddies to work with or get a get a workout buddy to start with um, and offer to take rides with people to get going um, because I learn something every time I do it so it's it's not it's never wasted time um, you know there's a lot of positives to that I think yeah John, John do you have um, you obviously uh, are, are a planner and, and pretty strategic um, how has uh, Google Hangouts or this this sort of new phenomenon, the opportunities. How has that affected your productivity or your goal setting? You know, in which ways, or do you even uh, are you setting goals with what you're doing with Google Hangouts? I, absolutely. You know? Um, you know, I've always been a big goal setter. You can't really be in business and happy. Um, you know, you all you always have things that you're working towards, trying to get to. You know, your monthly. 90 day, you know, it's a cycle, right? <laughs> it is a cycle, yes. Yeah, so I mean, um, it, it's certainly become um, higher on my list of priorities of things that I want to do. 
it's allowed me some, like I said, some advantages to connecting with people that normally I might not have a chance to have the same kind of interaction I've been able to because of Hangouts. So it's um, it's really afforded me some opportunities that um, were frankly quite unexpected. Um, you know, even uh, Sterling, you know, we've been talking quite frequently and we'll end up, what do you think of the new Hangout plugins? What do you think of, the, you know, it's it's almost like we're, we're writing lists out, you know. <laughs> It's um, it's a neat. There's a wow factor to it that um, yeah. it's exciting. It's exciting to be on the on the front edge of something. Yeah. It, it's it, uh, something we don't normally get to do. Right, right, yeah, and and it, it makes uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's the relational aspect of it is is just really huge. You know, by me experiencing this now, I'm just starting to realize wow, this really uh, speeds up the relational aspect of of connecting. Uh, yeah. And no matter what we're doing, whether we're teaching or leading, or whether I was sharing a product, it's it's primarily relational. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And and like I said, the most important thing we can do is kind of attack people these days on multiple fronts, because wow. uh, you know email just it's not enough. You know we look at our it's open not. we look at our open rates. Let's let's you know talk a little bit about conversion. You know when you look at the number of opens you get in your emails and. What is it? On average, sometimes it's five percent. Sometimes it's yeah. you know ten, twelve, if we're lucky. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. it's, You're it's absolutely become, right. It's becoming less effective, and um, if if I'm communicating, plus it forces us to really communicate with people in a growing area that they are really involved in. You know, okay. if we if we were to look at even Facebook, and we went back. Five years ago, where was it? I mean, you barely even know it was around. You look at it right. today, and what do they say? Facebook pages are the most widely open. Most people stay on their Facebook page all day long. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and that's the that's the kind of interactivity we want with people. You know, right? So um, Hangouts is just another way to do that. And like I said, I think I think Hangouts is going to be a big um, power play for Google in the sense that. Um, it's really wrapped up in communities, um, and communities have some really neat features to to them too in Google. So I, I, I set up a couple myself, and they're very easy to set up. I've got two of them. Um, I know you're in one of them now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know. happy to be. Yeah. yeah, and when I started Hangouts, that was a, that was the um, the second thing I did was started that community, the one that you're in there, um, and. You know that was the first place I leaked my uh, Hangout guide because I thought it was very important, and it it, uh, it started out basically as going through and putting together a Google community um, piece by piece. So if you actually went back to the beginning posts of that community, it will teach you how to put together your own community. Ah, that's and very that's, very powerful. It is, and that's how this whole thing came about. Yeah. John, let me ask you: uh, You've been involved. Uh, with with several people, and you're doing sort of multiple things around the Google Hangouts, and you're teaching, and and you have a great um, sort of reciprocal type system going, where you're meeting new people and learning new things, sort of uh, going back and forth. Um, I just have a question, and we we sort of as we uh, move towards the end for the list, we it's become sort of our custom to ask this question of our guests, and and that's um, what. Uh, it's normally either one to three things. What thing or what couple of things uh, do you wish people knew about uh, Google Hangouts? You know, either uh, it gets in their way and it shouldn't, or but just sort of sticks out. Like if you had uh, 30 seconds and that's all you had to talk okay. to somebody about Google Hangouts, what, what would those couple of things be? You know, I think I think the big thing that sticks out to people is it is a little hard to get started and get going. But the the great thing is, you know, there are guys like me that put out guides and you know use the guides. Get a buddy. Don't be afraid to ask people for help because you know what, we're willing to help most of us, right? And then the 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 last thing is, yeah, there's a fear factor. There's a fear factor with everything, and um, like anything, you've got to stretch. Um, a lot of the new things we get started with, they're not comfortable at first. So find a way to make it as comfortable as possible so that it doesn't stop you from achieving your goal and moving forward. 
and that's pretty much what I would say. Just don't let don't let the fear of getting going stop you, or don't let this seem scary, because it's really not. Yeah, it's really not. Yeah. You know, you're well, always going to be with that's... a guest, or you're going to be there's always going to be um, something to make you more comfortable. Yeah, it, it is. Well, well, thank you so much. That that goes right in. I, I'm going to um, give a little shout out to the list right now, just to um, uh, uh, show how much that relates. Um, you guys listen to what John has just said uh, that um, given the opportunity to, to speak to to us the one thing that um, he wishes that we would understand is to really get started you know John one of the one of the rules we have in the um, pastoral marketing training uh, you know that I do is first get it out then get it right then get it right all the time and then teach somebody else to do it you know um, and that's because we find exactly the same thing and for us this is confirmation that uh, it, what, mo what hangs people up the most is just sort of getting it out there, getting the idea started mm -hmm. for fear of, uh, sometimes it's perfectionism, you know, and it just sort of mm -hmm. freezes us, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just want to re reiterate again, uh, you know, with your confirmation, you know, first just get it out there, then get it right, get it perfect later, yeah. you know, um, then get it right all the time, and then, of course, teach somebody else to do it. That way it's duplicatable. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to add something to that because I think it was wonderful, perf perfectly with what you just said. And that's when when I first started to get this out and get the guide out, I, I didn't want to do it too early because I didn't feel the product was ready. And um, you know, Sterling had Sterling Valentine had said to me, he goes, "You you got to get this out, leak it out, do whatever, make it work in in your favor." And so the reason I did that is I leaked it out on my social media site. Uh, the you know, the Google Plus community there, and um, I said, you know, this is great because it'll give me an opportunity to get more feedback. Mm. It, it gets it out there; it's good enough to get out there, and then I can work on the final product and get that together over the next few days. So it gave me an opportunity to get it out, get it good enough, um, be able to teach it because unless you teach, you don't reach a new level of learning, right? right. So I, wa I wanted to get it out there and get it going, and, and that was the way that um, that I kind of did what you're saying. So it's interesting for you to say that because it, it it it's hard to kind of let the let the baby go. <laughs> it, is. <laughs> it, it is. It's a very yeah. difficult thing to do, but uh, sometimes we gotta, and it and it it's all played into plan. So yeah. Oh, I'm glad you uh, that you did because you know uh, we're waiting. We we were waiting for it. You know, the world is is waiting for that gift that we all inherently have, and if we have. The confidence, you know, to put it together and get it out there, then it's going to uh, to really uh, uh, bless people. So um, I, I like to remind people of that too. That you know, um, uh, there, it's it's always bigger than just us. <laughs> it's always bigger than just us. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Great. So can I turn the table on you now? <laughs> oh, of course, it's 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 always fair. <laughs> So we'll we'll just keep the camera rolling here and uh, okay great and you're you know the great news is uh, the 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 folks on your list are going to get even more because <laughs> uh, one of the things that I, I of course want to talk to you about Jay is uh, you know I, I hear constantly about Jay Foster and what an amazing list builder list builder he is so um, I want to turn the table on you a little bit okay. tell me what you're up to oh well there's a it's it's, what do you it's do? very <laughs> it's, it's very exciting. Um, well, of course, we're, we're still learning. You know, I'm a, uh, just forever uh, going to be a student. Um, as far as the list building is concerned, um, I mean, I can, I can speak to that and would be glad to. But one of the things I want to say from the very beginning, um, well, let me explain to the list a little bit about what you're referring to. Sure. Um, we, we belong to a, uh, a community with uh, the Internet marketer Sterling Valentine. And, some people on my list are familiar with, with Sterling. He's an amazing guy. Yeah. Um, he was my uh, a, a first and an original uh, a coach for internet marketing and specifically list building. Um, and early the early stages. Uh oh. <laughs> well, it looks like Jay froze. But I'm sure he'll be back in just a second. So um, just just uh, bear with us, folks, and we will get Jay back in just a moment. Oh. 
Hey, there you I are. Know, I think, yeah, I think we had a drop. Is there, is there like a time limit? Did I go over? No. No, it just, oh. uh, you must have just dropped out signal-wise and uh, and popped off. That does happen oh. on occasion. So okay. Nothing to be but I, I, I'm really impressed at how quickly we got reconnected. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of times it will happen even with the... Um, even with me, the person who starts the uh, the hangout, and it gives me the opportunity. It'll just say the broadcast is temporarily off of the air. It'll give me the opportunity to come back in. The only wow. downside, though, is I've lost your your um, video feed. But um, oh, okay. Let me figure. Let me. I think I'm gonna try to do the exact same thing I did before. Okay. Uh, to and it's not, a, it's not a big deal because, again, you know, this is one of the things about Hangouts. You run into little things that need to be adjusted. And, sure. um, it, you know, people that read my guide, you'll see that I go through a 20, 25-minute green room procedure with folks that uh, that do Hangouts with me just to make sure that we get the video and the audio right and all of that stuff. So okay. it doesn't usually happen midstream like this, but <laughs> some, sometimes things That's happen. <laughs> So do you want to just re ask the question? I'll just go right in and yeah, we can just start where we can just start where you left off because we never really stopped. I got you. Okay. Um, so I didn't know what I was doing, and um, I'm a firm believer in getting some help. Uh, and um, you know, uh, the buddy system that you alluded to earlier is, the, is the, sort of the, the best way to go. So um, you know, I met Sterling and uh, started to hang out in, in his community a little bit. Mm -hmm. And learn the importance of list building, learning the importance of actually, uh, you know, every store or business needs customers, every church needs members, right? And so the importance of a community, uh, and I began to learn through that community how helpful it could be. Mm -hmm. um, and since I didn't really know that much, um, I took the basics from his training, but also instinctually, I just sort of implemented um, – just the sort of uh, pastoral paradigm that I have. I'm, I'll give you a little uh, idea of my background. Um, I was a person who was involved in investigative services uh, for uh, uh, 12 years. Um, I actually traveled around uh, doing um, forensic and undercover investigations in, in businesses, and uh, many of them were Fortune 500 uh, companies. Um, I got out of that business uh, or working for someone else and uh, with two other people, we started our own firm. Um, at, at some point in there, I, uh, I'm giving you the short version, John. That's okay. <laughs> I sense, okay. I, I sense like the it. call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, somewhere along in that process, I uh, sensed the call uh, to ministry. Um, and so I sold uh, my interest in that business, um, took a short-term contract uh, at a technology firm uh, in a, a Oak Brook, which is a suburb of Chicago, um, and then entered into seminary. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, things didn't necessarily go the way we thought with that, with, with that firm. It was 1998, uh, or I'm sorry, 1999, and by two, late 2000, right before 2001, uh, the company went under. You know, there was a, the, the bubble kind of wow. burst. We, we had some things that were leveraged. And, uh, but anyway, so I went into... Um, uh, a seminary with a real motivation, <laughs> you know, to pray and to try to listen, you know, for, for someone uh, larger than, than I. Uh, and so I did that, and I took a job on the campus. Uh, seminary is, a, is at the campus of Northwestern University uh, in, in Evanston, Illinois. And so uh, I worked there and then uh, went to seminary, uh, went directly into, uh, into ministry, um, you know, from that point. Um, so I got a, a master's degree uh, in theology, and then uh, later a PhD in historical and, uh, and theological studies. So I leveraged uh, that training and sort of um, just what has been my personality for a long time. I didn't have a name for it, but I, I went into this notion of internet marketing with the concept of uh, serve before being served. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was a, already a relational uh, element and one of the things that attracted me when I was uh, much younger um, to a place of faith is what seemed to be like a, 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 a radical relationality. That's the ability to you know to relate. Um, so I took that into list building, but I didn't really realize it at the time. 
you know, I, um, so I put a, uh, got the basics, put an opt-in page up, you know, got a, got a website, put a capture page up, um, and uh, Sterling taught us how to, you know, how to do that. But I never really saw those letters and those email addresses as email addresses. In my mind, I said, you know, each one of these addresses is attached to a live human being, you know, with feelings and thoughts. And so I know now better uh, than, than I did a little over a year ago and just my treatment of that. Now, I was, at the time I started uh, before the VIP program with, with Sterling, um, I was actually writing my dissertation. Um, and sometimes I'd be just dog tired, you know, coming home and, <laughs> Yeah. You know, and but I told myself I'm always going to spend at least an hour yep. on my list building business. And, you know, um, by hook or crook, I would. I'd come in and sometimes my wife would find me and wake me up, you know, fall asleep over the keyboard. She'd say, hey, you know, go to bed. But I would always send a message. I'd always, if I felt a certain kind of way after dragging in, you know, um, or I had a word of wisdom, I would send it to my list. You know, and, and I wouldn't ask for anything, you know, and so it was just sort of a way of, of bonding. Um, so I would say the first thing um, that I learned, and it's, it served me well um, as far as list building is concerned, is to be relational right off the bat. Absolutely. Um, and, and to do the best we can to be that, you know. Uh, but I had a head start. I had a head start because of what attracted me to the, um, to, um, to the marketer list community. And that is that there really is no get rich quick uh, scheme out there. You know, this is hard work, you know, for people who care um, and, you know, trying to attract customers who care. Uh, and so one of the things that was really um, attractive about Sterling, he seemed to be a great alternative to what he calls the sharkers. <laughs> you, you, you know, um, and so that just was attractive to someone like me, you know, I was interested in, in sort of the real kind of um, upfront, kind of, um, you know, morally straight way, you know, to being able to share something with people. So mm -hmm. um, I started out with that in mind, you know, and so I, when somebody would opt in, you know, I would treat them like someone perhaps that maybe walked through the front door, you know, of uh, the gym that I work out at or, and, and, and introduce themselves or maybe the front door of our, of our local church. And you know, rather than just walk past, I would say hello, those kind of things. So I, I, I would say, and I'm, I'm spending a little bit of time on this, John, mm. because I think it's a huge paradigm and a very important paradigm to realize that very these huge. are actually <laughs> people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. No, and I, you know, I go through the exact same thing myself because I look at how so many people, which this is really a great conversation to have because um, I saw that too. I said, you know, there's just so many people who, one, have a list. They don't treat it well. They, they you know, they just, they're just constantly offering them stuff without giving them value. And um, so this is a nice discussion in a lot of different ways because, you know, I, I too am really involved with my church. And, and so, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of interesting ties between us. We'll, we'll have to talk about more, um, you know, as time goes on. But, you know, I've, I've used some of my gifts here to help the church as well and, and do, begin to do some things there. But um, also the reason that I got involved in Hangouts and video because it's a more personal way to interact with, um, with the folks that we're getting on our list and talking to and add value. It's a great way to get going and add value. So we're on the same page, man. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, this is, this is great. Yeah, yeah. I, I really feel the connection. And so, you know, what you'll hear, uh, you know, in the story is that, um, you know, uh, now remember now, this is about one hour, not every day, um, but, but, but most, most days, you know, about one hour a day. Um, what you'll hear, uh, my memory serves me right out here on the side of caution here, but the first list building effort, uh, the first um, 40 days or so, between 30 and 40 days, and I built a list um, probably uh, ab about uh, 1,500 people. Um, mm -hmm. Certainly by 60 days, I had um, a list of 2,000. Uh, and, and then Sterling began to ask me, hey, man, you know, how are you doing this? And 
And so I'm just using the basics that you're teaching me, but I'm also, you know, just reaching out to my list. And at that time, it seemed like just sort of a natural, easy thing to do. But I didn't know people uh, weren't doing this. Like, for instance, if someone, you know, didn't like something or had a, a comment that wasn't exactly, you know, a pleasing comment to me, I'd actually follow up by sending an email, you know, directly to them. You know, John, there's been times, uh, more times than I can count, where if someone had um, uh, a, a signature, you know, at the bottom of their email or something like that, or a phone number, I'd call them and say, you know, uh, we, we do send emails out and stuff all the time. I just thought maybe I'd take a chance and leave you this voicemail or catch you on your cell phone. And then you'd be surprised if people would say, well, I can't believe you actually called me on the phone, you know. And some of them, it's a little bit funny, and some of them think it's kind of like, you know, what, you know, this, really? you call me on the phone. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, we use email. Um, but little things like that matter because we, I think we all have more things in common than, than not. Yeah. Um, and I think that's sort of the best way to do that. So uh, within 90 days, I had a list of 5,000 people, um, and that created a, a, a buzz. Uh, and so Sterling said, hey, I think you ought to get in this VIP program. Uh, and I was on with a, with a couple of other VIP members at the time. And they convinced me to do it. He said, that's the good news. He said, the bad news is you're going to have to start from scratch and build another list, which was fine. It's part of the program. Sure. Uh, this time, though, instead of 90 days, it only took me 60 days to get 5,000 more people. Um, and so uh, I'm up around now maybe, um, oh, gosh, I'm probably 1,500. You know, um, I, I will tell you this. John, I've seen a couple of things, um, and part of, certainly my list will understand as people listening to this, sure. um, but we sort of have a theme about being real, um, you know, uh, real people, real results, right, real talk. Uh, and so one of the things that we talk about a lot is, you alluded to it earlier, is that I've seen the numbers of conversions, uh, you, know, um, uh, you know, getting harder and harder to maintain, you know, and most of the time. Uh, you know, the numbers are, uh, are going down. Mm -hmm. um, so it's increasingly harder and harder to be relational if people don't even listen, if they don't have a chance to open it up, you know, those type of things. And so one of the things that I've seen over the last maybe uh, four months or so, maybe six, four to six months, <clears throat> is how video is a nice alternative to that and how uh, more and more the opportunity to have a webinar but now, of course, I'm, I'm totally sold on Google Hangouts. Hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> and so Hangouts, um, you know, to be able to, uh, to contact my list, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I got another one you're going to love. Because oh, okay. One, sure. of, one of the other things that I've been looking at, and you kind of alluded to it, is, you know, a lot of our emails that we send out, there's a way for us to tag a video in them or send a video. And, you know, more and more, I, I think that's the, the next piece of what I'm going to begin to do is just, you know, send a video along with the email or, you know, whatever it might be because it's a, it's a binder, you know, right. and, and different uh, things that we write, you know, whether it's a sales letter or whether it is just whatever it is, um, mm -hmm. incorporate video and text because, you know, some people like to read along fast. Other people would love to see the video and kind of get a feel for you because in the end of the day, people buy us. Yes. You know, whatever, whatever we're set, whatever we're selling or doing, in the, at the end of the day, it's us that uh, that they see and they decide whether they like us and trust us enough to move forward and develop a relationship with us. So you're, you're absolutely right. And, and what I found, John, is, uh, and I don't know that this necessarily comes across or really gets told uh, unless somebody's doing like personal coaching or gets to kind of hang out with someone great like you. And that is that people will decide. To, uh, to befriend you, to, to decide to have a relationship with you. And here's the part that I like to talk about, warts and all. I mean, sometimes it's a sort of little frailties that people identify with. So it's not about perfection. It's not totally about <laughs> persuasion or tricking some, you know, getting someone to buy. You know, um, it's you know, getting someone to get to know you a little more about you or to get to know the part about you that they relate to. Because it right. takes a while for them to completely get to know you. So I'm, I, I try to be really realistic about that. But it gives them an opportunity to decide to get to know the part that they want to know about you. And then hopefully they will, you know, like you. And then there is a trust factor. Um, but then I think 
it, it doesn't go from, you know, to no to like to buy. It goes from no to like to like trust, trust. Yes. and then perhaps to buy. Yeah. Um, and that buying has to be more of a sharing. And so uh, part of that conversation and that connectivity and getting to know people is not getting to know them just so that they can get to like you. That's kind of like the, 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 the failed, you know, the, the guy that's trying to, to date someone, right? You know, it, it's not. It's, it's to create a value. It is actually to, to serve somebody in a larger way. Um, and then not to get too woo-woo on, on you here on the call, but um, it, I like to sort of outserve people. I kind of get a kick out of what I'm offering being just, bigger, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, just to see if I can do that. So I would say that that's at the heart of it. The other things you can get in, um, you know, like people can get like in my teachings and stuff and, mm -hmm. and some of the nuts and bolts of it, even in communities outside of my own community. But I think the thing maybe that doesn't get told is to legitimately and to sincerely uh, connect with people and remember um, that these are not things, these are people. And it also helps if you tend to prefer people to things. You know, I, uh, and, and, and then I would also say this, um, it's just sort of a, something that, that I wish um, people understood. I'm also, John, looking for people who are already looking for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and so if, there, if I think there's going to be a connection, I mean, you, you know, if you, uh, if you like teaching, the chances are better that, you know, I have something to offer. You know, if, um, if you believe in the possibilities of something outside of yourself, there's a greater chance that I have something to offer. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not afraid of the word, you know, faith or belief, there's a, you know, there's a chance. And so the door is open for everyone, but we do have to be honest about it. Everyone's not a fit, and we're not a fit for everyone. Right. So part of list building is the sorting process. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the few people that have worked to the point I don't love it, but I do have a sense of accomplishment whenever I see the daily unsubscribes. And I think that's one of the things that we have to have to understand in our business. Absolutely. That we're gonna get we're gonna get no's in everything that we do. Yes. You know, that's that's part of the that's part of the process. And um, you know, the, the, the Lord called us to have a servant's attitude. Right. And, You're absolutely know, right. And and I'm very much the same way. It's like, you know, I just wanna I just want to serve you so much and, you know, pour out so much that uh, you can't help but love me, right? Right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Love and appreciate. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's that's uh, kind of why the fun of what keeps us in business, it I think. Is. I yeah. think that's it's an enjoyable piece of what we do. I would agree. I would agree. So I, I hope that's been helpful. You know, I can, I'll warn you, I have to, I have to stop myself because I'll just go on and on. I don't, you know, I, I have that disease, the teacher's I'm the, disease. I'm the same, I'm the same way. I could just go on and on and on. So very, very good. Now are you, um, as far as, you know, getting subscribers and are you using video? Are you, what are you using to attract people into, um, that's a great question. Getting to know you. Uh, yeah, I'll, that's I'll a great probably, question. I'll probably leave on that question. But that, okay, that's, but that's an yeah. interesting piece. I'm I'm kind of curious. And how do you how do you see um, you know what we talked about today maybe fitting into what you might do differently as time goes on or how you might add to what you're doing? Okay, it's definitely uh, a shift. Uh, as soon as I noticed that the numbers were were turning sort of south and I started, okay, now what's going on with this? Mm -hmm. um, and then as soon as I realized to the level that I realize it now, that this really is about reaching out and connecting with people in a real way. Um, for me, now I, I, I'm just going to say this for me, for me, video helped me to do that better. Mm -hmm. um, but as a disclaimer, I still know people. As a matter of fact, I'm in a thing called a circle of 10 with people who still uh, use copy in a very powerful way. I mean, oh, yeah. some of their pages, their opt-ins will, will rival <laughs> mine, you know. So I'm just going to say for me, I think who I am comes across a little better on video. So I went to video right away, and, and the minute I realized that video was a little more effective, I started to find places in the funnel and in the process to implement video. So right now, uh, for instance, at um, I have two uh, websites that I'm primarily using. One is uh, 
fosteryourlifesystems.com. Mm -hmm. Fosteryourlifesystems.com is a uh, opt-in page that I put up there through Optimize Press. I'm a firm believer in WordPress. It, it was just sort of easier for me to get things done. Um, and so that, that capture page is a video. Um, and then once you opt in, the thank you page has a video on it. And what it's, uh, people are opting in for is a lesson that's 100% video. And then when they get that, at the bottom of that, of that video is a video. <laughs> um, so I'm maximizing in, in, on video, and it's helped my conversions a lot. Sure. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually taking the sort of learning curve process of this. It's been beneficial for me. It's allowed me to uh, create a community. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, it's given me the information that I think could have only come from my community and come from my list that, that I needed. In I lost your sound. Yeah. Can you... I don't know if you pulled a plug. <laughs> I don't know. Somehow I just lost the sound on you. No. Strange. You want to, uh, you know, I can, uh, I can fill in a little bit. You want to go out and come back in? Yeah, try going out and coming back in, and I'll, I'll just, uh, I can talk a little more about, um, what we were talking about. So I'll fill in. See you in a second. <laughs> so, so as you can see, um, you know, sometimes Hangouts, we have little, we have little technical issues, and uh, it's pretty much the way that, uh, that any, anything that we do, um, any seminar, occasionally, you know, we have technical difficulties like everything else. So the important thing is to just kind of roll and flow with it, as we say. But, um, one thing that uh, that I that I like about this, like I said, is just being able to um, really uh, create an impact, and uh, you know, video certainly is a great way is a great way to do that. Uh, let's see if Jay. Here we go. All right. How about Jay, now? Hopefully, Jay is back, and we have sound. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> sound is you, good. The only the only bad thing is I I have lost your video again. Okay, well, I, I think I know what to do. Okay. I've done this before, and I think we just do that. Yeah, that's it. There you go, and you're back. All right, awesome. Um, so video has been uh, a better way for me to, to, um, to relate uh, to people who eventually uh, are going to be visitors and then become subscribers. So I've maximized on video. Um, I've taken the whole process, this learning curve, and uh, sort of this pastoral idea, uh, and I've, I've used something that we call pastoral affinity, and it's just sort of the way to shepherd uh, a relationship with us where the affinity comes in. Uh, and so my latest project, John, is, uh, is called Pastoral Marketing, um, and I'm just getting that together. As a matter of fact, uh, I think I've emailed it to you, sent it to you. I, I'd love for you to take a look at some of the graphics um, in this uh, beta stage yes. to let me know m maybe what what resonates with you. In fact, you know, I'd love that because um, right now I think uh, al along with you, <laughs> I have two I have two other friends that have started um, some form of uh, ministerial or uh, Christian coaching programs. Ah. Which is kind of which is kind of neat because you know here we are we're kind of filling in the blanks with with this a little bit, and um, you know I've been participating with uh, Sean Mize has one you may be familiar with Sean, uh, and I know I've been, name. yeah I've been sitting in on some of his his lessons uh, for Christian coaching, and um, one of my close friends from my own ministry here in New Hampshire, um, he has um, motivation year coaching. Uh, nice. that, dot com I think is is his and so it, it's uh it's a great area because I mean so many of us certainly especially as Christians I think I think we feel like um, you know in many ways are we are we fulfilling God's wishes for us are we using our talents to the best in the best possible way so I interesting that uh, it is here we are talking Very about this too yeah. yeah so so I I too you can add to to that list and. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, I'm hoping that through uh, pastoralmarketing.com uh, that, that I can offer maybe an alternative to 
some of the uh, other uh, systems that are out there. They're, they're all very good and some of them very tested. Um, but I know that there are people out there who feel a strong calling to get a message out, mm -hmm. um, who have definitely developed a following or a tribe as it's been sort of described, but may not know outside of the, of the traditional ways of doing ministry um, how to uh, sort of leverage that, how to find their voice, to know that um, there is an ethical way and there's an honorable way to reach your listeners and to find people who are already looking for you but may not know you're there. So that's sort of the perspective, um, you know, that I come from, you know, to launch this. It's very much uh, um, just sort of in the beginning stages and the beginning process processes um, because I've just discovered that this approach that I'm taking actually to do marketing, and it is marketing, um, Sure. I have a ministry background, but it is definitely marketing, and it, I think it's effective. So if, um, if, if you've heard anything from Sterling or anybody in that community, I would say that I'm still on the sort of upward learning curve of the uh, nuts and bolts of Internet marketing, but I come from a place of authenticity, and I mm -hmm. think that um, being authentic, for whatever reason, you know, reaches people, John. Yeah, I think it's probably the most important thing in reaching people, and certainly, like I said, key to the so key to the intertwining relationship is you know people knowing who you are yeah. right from the get go. That's so, good. Mm, very very good. So how um how can you see bringing hangouts into the picture of what you're doing now? Oh, I would I would love to use it to teach. Mm -hmm. um, I do a um, a weekly empowerment class. I've been doing it for the last five years at, at a local community center. Um, and then I have uh, a small coaching group that's sort of developed organically, um, just uh, people that have utilized some of the ideas. I have a, um, a book that I'm preparing called uh, The Ultimate Learning System. Uh, and the uh, content from that came from the wisdom books. I just sort of, uh, to give you just a general idea without a whole lot of specifics, I just teach people the value of the concept of knowledge mm -hmm. and then how to take knowledge and apply it the correct way, uh, you know, creating a thing called wisdom and then utilizing wisdom in such a way in the actions that we do and in our projects that um, we gain a thing called understanding. And mm -hmm. so I take those three, I call them, uh, I call it a triune key those three concepts to that key and put in a little booklet form because people often ask me whether it's you know people who were uh, at Northwestern saying you know um, you know how did you blow through your Latin exam so quickly or how do you know this or that <laughs> the big secret is that uh, I'm far from a genius um, but those three concepts from the wisdom books um, really helped me to understand how to go through uh, one leg of no, uh, getting the information uh, the importance of applying information, you know, which is wisdom, and then actually doing something with it. You know, there's an ancient text that says, whatever your hands find to do, you know, do it with all your might. So these concepts, you know, um, along with having a book and along with maybe uh, doing video, now I can form classes, you know. Now I can teach other people who have a mind to teach. And then, of course, as, as is illustrated here, I can also increase my learning curve. I mean, this, this is great. I mean, you've, you've provided tremendous value for, um, to myself and to, and to our, uh, our watchers and our listeners. So um, right now that my, my, my mind is spinning, but those are some <laughs> of the ways that, that I can see us uh, utilizing the Hangouts. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you know how I feel. Some, uh, since I started this, there are times where I'm so excited at night I can't even sleep. It's it's like I've got yeah. so many ideas of how this, <laughs> you know, can come together and and create some uni some very unique situations. I um, agree. You know, for memberships and for 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 teaching like we talked about, and you know, just being able to relay information to people like we never really been able to before. It's right. pretty right. it's pretty amazing. So right. Awesome. So well, if if you have some things that are, uh, I'd be interested in your lab. So. Any uh, experimental things, or if you would like, um, you may sort of yeah. to share, or get a, an idea, um, you know, a process going or something, uh, you know, call me in. This is very exciting. Yeah. Um, I'd like to find a way maybe to, to offer value uh, back to you because you've, you've mm -hmm. given so much here to our listeners. I appreciate it, John. 
Yeah, I was going to say, you know, my uh, my website is predominantly internet marketing, marketing related, and video related, and that's uh, johnpaduchak.com. Um, and then that social media experiment certainly is applicable to anything, um, and you know whether it's pastoral work or whether it's business related or offline business related or whatever it might be. Um, and like I said, hangouts tend to be very um, all encompassing. They can go in a lot sure. of different a lot of different ways. But and I do give that uh, guide away. So anybody who's interested in that, um, you know, I certainly can uh, pass you along that uh, that address so that you can. Relay that. But that oh, I would love to post it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'd, I'd love, we'd to, love post to have it. you guys as part of the community because um, we're going to be doing some really, some really neat and unique stuff in social media uh, and hangouts that you know I haven't really seen anybody do. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. Great. Thank you so much again, John. This is great, and uh, I certainly value your time, and I look forward to uh, the next hangout. Yeah, this has been fun. I'm glad we got a chance to get together, and we'll have to do it more often, Jay. Yes, it's, it sounds good to me. That's the plan. <laughs> All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And with that note, I'm going to just close this off and uh, just hang out here for a second with me.